Hi everybody, welcome back. I have had a few people ask me how I make my thumbnails. It is so easy and I use a free program that you can use too. And in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how I use this program. Make a thumbnail and you won't believe how easy this is. Truly, truly easy. It's free. I use the free forever program. In my description, I'm going to have a link for you to use so you can use this program too. I don't get paid any money for that because I'm using the free program so I won't get paid for that. I'll just give you the link so it's easier for you to get to. Now they do have free forever, Canva free forever or Canva Pro for $12.95 a month. Well, I don't use the $12.95 a month one, don't use the Pro. I use the Canva free forever and it is free. It really is. So you want to go over here and you want to sign up, sign up with your Google. It's easier that way if you can do that. I'm already signed up. I'll click on the sign up. We'll see what happens. You could sign up with your email, sign up with Google, sign up with Facebook, do whatever, do whatever fits you best. We're going to go to log in because I'm already, I'm already signed up. So I'm gonna log in with my Google. Pick the account you wanna log in with. You see I got Life with Rob down there. So once you're logged in, this page will come up. And you can see down here, I've saved my designs for free. They're letting me save the designs I've made and I can go back in and edit these if I want to. But what you wanna do now, you wanna create a design. So what I normally do is go over to social media right here and you'll see different Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Facebook cover. You can make them all on here. Scroll over one. YouTube channel art. You can make your YouTube channel art on here if you want to. YouTube thumbnail right, right here. Click on that. Once you've hit the YouTube thumbnail, you want to make a thumbnail. It opens to this page. It looks like a piece of paper here. Now I know already that I want to upload an image onto my thumbnail. So I'm going to go over and click over here, follow my finger, uploads. I already I already know that I want to put a picture on my on my thumbnail. Here's images I've already used. They save them in here once you're logged in. And it's for free. This is all for free. You want to upload an image. Where do you want to upload your image from? You have choices here. I'm going to upload it from my device, from my computer. So I'm going to go to my desktop, find the folder that I want to use, and I have pictures of me and Rob. We're going to use that one because I've got some goofy pictures in here. We'll use this one. Robin, Robin the fire. See the fire over here? Boom, there we go. So now if you go over here to your piece of paper, click on your, just click on it once and it'll turn, see the blue that went around there? The blue on the border? I wanna change the pick color of this white. That's what I wanna do. So I'm gonna go up here where it says background color. Click on the background color. Here's the colors that it gives me to use. Or I could make myself a new color. You want to, you can just slide that slides up here. That will slide. And when you slide the dot, it will change the color of your canvas. And if you, if you move this over just a little more, how I moved my, my bottom over a little, the dot over a little more. I can then go move the big dot in the color and kind of move that around till I get a color that I want. Let's go with that color. Just for, you know, let's just go with that. I've chosen this color. We're going to go over to our uploads and hey, there's Rob with the fire. I want to put Rob with the fire in, in there. All I have to do is click on, click on this picture and boom, it puts it right here for me. I want to crop this picture. This picture is 
it's too big. I just want Rob in the fire. You can crop the picture in this program. All you have to do is drag in, let's get my car out of there. Just drag in what you don't want. What you don't want in the picture. We're going to pull that up. There. I've, I've edited this picture, cropped it down in this program. Really easy to do. So we'll, we'll bring that down a little bit. Move that over a little bit. Maybe move this over a little bit. And then once you get your picture cropped down, you can move it. You can move it wherever you want. I'm holding on my left mouse button. You could drag this picture anywhere you want. Or I can tilt it. See the little round thing down here? I could tilt my tilt them. I could make them go upside down. You know, I could tilt the whoa, come back, tilt it. Or now that I've got it cropped down, I could drag the edge out. See, I'm over here in the corner. Drag the corner, and I can I can make Rob as big as he wants. Big or small. We could do that. Now up here at the top, all right, follow my mouse. You see effect, filter, adjust, crop, or flip. Let's flip them. I'm going to make them go, let's see, maybe the other way. There. You could flip the picture in the edit, and so we'll flip them back. Flip, flop. There we go. Or look, horizontal, vertical. I can make them go upside down without grabbing this thing. Now I can also adjust over here. Hit the adjust and you can adjust your brightness and your contrast. Your colors. You you could do all of that here on your pictures. If you're whoa, oh that's pretty cool. If your pictures are too dark or blurry, you know, when you get them over here in this in this program in the Canva, you you could change it around. I kind of like the the black. I kind of like the black lines. Maybe not that much. Look, it just popped that picture out. There's the original. Let's put some definition to it. There, it just made that picture stand out even better. We're gonna put Rob right there. How's that? Just for now, because we could move him. We can move him. Rob can be moved. Over here, now we have the text. We're going to go to the left, follow me. Text. Normally, I, I put add a heading. That's what I normally do with these. Add subheading or, you know, because you can make it as small as you want. Let's, let's do that. I click add a heading. In here, I need to type. I'm going to type right now because it's blue. I just clicked add heading. We'll just put Rob with the fire. Rob in a fire. There. So we have Rob in a fire. And I want to put Rob in a fire up here. So we're just going to drag it up there. Just like we dragged the picture. Drag it up there. But see how small that is? That's awfully small. So click on it after you put it where you want. And you see all of the tools up here. I want to I want to make it bigger. So instead of dragging it, it's so much easier right now the number's 50. We're we're going to bump that number up to about 96. Oh, look, Robin of Fire got bigger and I didn't have to drag a thing. You could make it even bigger. Let's do 120. Look at that. We'll leave it big. So now we're crossing over here, so now I'm going to move that down because I really don't want Rob in a fire on the picture. So we just moved that down a little bit. So see how easy that is? And I've got this big blank space over here. You could, you could make the picture full screen if you wanted to. Watch, I'm going to drag it in a corner. Put the picture in the corner. And let's just drag. Let's just see what happens. Let's just drag it up. And then we could we could even drag it back over. And there's the rest of my picture that I cropped out. 
Remember when I cropped it out in the beginning? When I dr drug it over? Let's drag it out. That could be my whole thumbnail if I wanted it to be. But now, Robin a fire, you can't see the words, so we would have to go change the color. So let's go do that. Up here, the A. Text color. You could make it, you could do the new color again if you wanted to, or you could use one of the options they give you. Let's pick black. Black usually sticks out. Black or white normally pops out pretty good. Oh, oh we'll move it over because we're covering Rob's head. Rob, Rob in a fire. There, Rob in a fire. Oh, see how easy that was? Now, if I wanted to, you know how some people add um, arrows? We can add an arrow. Let's see, elements over here on your elements. I'm going to pick the arrow. It's free. See, it says free. Free. Some of them you have to pay for, but these are free. So we're going to pick an arrow. Again, all I did was click on it, and boom, there it is. You could turn it to pointing at the fire. I can follow, follow me, go up, up here. I could flip it, flip the arrow around. See, see how that flipped? The tail is going down, and then I'm going to flip it again. The tail is going up. On this one, I want the tail to go up. I do want the tail to go up. We could move that arrow and look, it's pointing at the fire. But see how the it see how it's not really pointing at the words. We're gonna we're gonna move that down and make it bigger. Ooh, look at that. That's real big. Rob in a fire. We could tail it off the end. See how the tail is right here at the end. And we can make it bigger. Rob in a fire. And just put it right right up there. Shows Rob in a fire. Now see the red? I don't like that. I don't like that color red. It doesn't stand out enough for me. So we're gonna go up here to this up up here where I flipped it. There's more colors. I'm gonna make a new color because that's kind of a dull red. I'm gonna just drag the circle right here. I'm going to drag it over and see how the, the red changed. That's what it was. And that's what I'm going to make it. And you can make it any color you want to over here. We're going we're gonna to do red. We're going to do the red. Click off of it. There. It changed it red. Now this, this is just basic what we can do here. I will make another video and get into more of what this program can do because it can do quite a bit but we'll get into more more things that the program can do in another video maybe i'll do that now over here i want to i want to save this this is going to this is going to be my thumbnail all right so i want to save this all you do is hit download leave all the settings how how they are hit download preparing your design and this will automatically put it in your download file on your computer. We don't want to try Canva Pro 30 days free. We're going to continue editing and there you go. Very, very easy. I'll make another video. I'll make more videos. I'll make a lot more videos on how to do this because it's so easy and there's so many more things that you can do with this Canva program. I do like Canva better. I've tried other programs, but they seem to be crashing on me right now. This has, this program has just, you see, you see what I just did. It has just enough for me to do. If you want to, go back and look at my last thumbnails over the last month. Just scroll through my channel. You don't have to watch my videos. And just check out the different thumbnails that I've made. I've made most of them with this program. All right, subscribe for more. And um, I'll, I'll make more videos like this. How to make a thumbnail, so easy. It is, you see how easy that was. But subscribe, come back for more. I'll make more videos like this and I'll see you next time. Bye.